basic problem of man is sin. When sin rules our lives, we begin to lose sight of God as we read in the book of Isaiah 59 verse 1 onwards. Though God is our father, though God takes care of us, he who takes care of the birds and the flowers, but sin hides the face of God. Sin becomes a wall between God and man. So we are not able to see the Lord. We are not able to see what the Lord does in our lives. We lose sight of that God is our Father. So we are left out with our own struggle. That only come to our mind. Our struggles come, our disturbances come, our work comes, our burden comes. We begin to think uh, we are lost somewhere. An unknown fear comes and rules some of them. An unknown disturbances come. An unknown burden comes. We feel hungry to eat and the hunger doesn't come for some. For some, as soon as they eat, they are not able to do anything. They want to pray, but sleep comes. Our disturbances come. You want to read the word of God, you are unable to do. You find blocks everywhere. Blocks, disturbances. Sin. Sin separates us from God. That all that God has kept for us, his children, becomes a distance from us. When the son took away all the money from the father in the prodigal son parable, the moment he took the money, there is a power behind the sin. Satanic power. So he took the boy away from the father and he made him to lose everything that the father gave it to him. The boy could survive until what he had from the father. The moment he lost everything of the father, the next moment he was thrown to the pigs. That's what happens to us. The sin has the capacity to drain out, to drain out everything. Like you put injection and take away your blood, you become bloodless, you become helpless, you become tired and unknown, unknown disturbance, unknown tension come into your life. That is the effect of sin. Sin takes away all that of God from us. An unwanted fear, worries, anger, disturbances, distress, come no sleep. Yes. On the other hand, one hand, it hides the face of God. On the other hand, the sin opens the door for the enemy. That the enemy enters into his life and takes the person to do all unwanted elements. The husband gets so angry and hits his own wife. The wife gets so upset she refuses to talk to the husband or even abuses them. And the enemy is so happy to find rift and make them to live like that. Some even say, I have nothing to do with my husband. I have nothing to do with my wife. I am there because for my children. The joy, the Bible says, 
your free husband and wife they have problem and the book of ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 10 says at the end of the day it is a natural that god brings a man and a woman together that when one falls the another lifts up this is the divine plan but then the sin makes them to hate each other in such a way to be indifferent to each other not to talk with each other not even allowed to touch each other to be in their own little world to be even abuse each other what god has kept them today even if you have problem god helps you to come together tomorrow morning you forget your struggle okay we bear the things together we move ahead in life the enemy takes it away takes away the love takes away the concern for each other takes away the language the beginning of the marriage time darling sweetie all that goes away just don't even call by name the enemy on the one hand takes us away from god and kills off all that of god life of prayer reading the word rejoicing in the lord celebrating life on the other hand the enemy infuses all that of the enemies the anger that depression sadness brokenness yes so man trying to god and say i'm sorry lord merikulpa merikulpa we ask pardon we try to go for confession and but sin does in go away the wages of sin is death the sin comes behind us and bites us like a snake the bible says it meets us and what to do this sin has to be overcome the bible teaches us in the book of romans chapter 8 verse 13 when we live in the flesh we die we die but we cannot overcome sin by ourselves that's why we read in the book of romans chapter 7 was 15 onwards a great servant called paul he had this experience what i want to do i am not able to do what i am supposed to do to my father to the christian community what is my duty i know i know here but i am not able to do it why and as a servant of god what i am not supposed to do i am doing there are certain things i am not supposed to do as a single man or a family man and i am doing it why i'm so, uh, it is not my business to talk about somebody else but i, I am restless it comes to me it's like one fellow was asked you made the retreat again why do you go for drinking he said no not me father i didn't go my motorbike went into that shop father what i don't want to do i am doing it why it's happening this was the struggle of st paul definitely it is our struggle too and then in romans chapter 7 verse 20 paul reveals the secret he says if i do what i don't want to do if i am not able to do 
what i am supposed to do something is blocking me something is pulling me to sin on the other side something is blocking me not allowing me to do what i am supposed to do what is that say i found sin ruling my life sin ruling my life 